Uh, games and exercises. Um, I prefer to call them exercises. Uh, I never use the word energizers and I never call them warm ups because we should be energized and ready. I call them exercises, theatre exercises. We, we've been using them for more than 25 years as the basis of all of our work at Yellow House. We start every session normally with this game you're watching every week, no matter how, whether you're new to the group or you've been in the group for quite a long time. We introduce ourselves, we say our name, and we say then say our names and say the name of the person either side of us. This is interesting because the young people that we work, many of them have been excluded for many reasons. Even just saying your name can be difficult. You say your name in school, somebody skits your name and laughs at you, so we make a very positive statement about what your name is, who you are. One of the other games we, we take from this is to play, to say your name and to say something good about yourself and then later as well in the next part of the exercise to say your name and the name of the person next to you so you remember them but you say something good about them. I think what's fascinating about that game is we then ask, because we always discuss the games, which did you prefer? Most young people say that they preferred it when they could say something good about somebody else. They didn't like to say something good about themselves in case they felt it thought they were arrogant. Some people just said they didn't have anything to say. But all of them, we've always found that most people accept and acknowledge that it's nice to hear somebody say something nice about them. So these games are just to start us off to work together as a group, but they are specific. They're aimed at whatever work we're, we're working on that week as well. So lots of them are about physical touch because many of the young people especially the boys in inner cities, don't like to touch. They feel uh, threatened by it for whatever reasons. Uh, so we do a lot of games about touching and uh, moving and about using our body language. I, I, I plan the games every week with an idea of what we're going on to, 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 to explore, to develop as a piece of theatre. And also from stories that the young people tell about themselves and that I hear. So the games of, you know, as I said, I prefer to call them exercises. The exercises are about learning to tell your story, to develop your skills through your body and your thinking and your imagination and your voice. But the games are, the exercises are fun. You've got to enjoy them. The young people have got to want to come back and play them. Here you can see as well as doing trust exercises and balancing. Again, about learning to trust each other, trust yourself to allow yourself to be put into this situation. For all of this, you have to create a, an atmosphere of safety. Nobody must get hurt. But the most important atmosphere you have to do is to create it where we can be honest with each other and you feel secure enough that nobody is going to laugh at you or ridicule you. These exercises always, always, always lead on to a story which then leads on to a performance.